probably the first, yeah, the first video I have made with volume. Basically, it's just going to be a bit of a gameplay through that sort of thing. You know, everyone does it. But this time, I'm going to be playing through the random games. Like this is based off of one. If you haven't seen it before, it's based off the one from Tokyo Ghoul. And anime I have watched. It is good. I recommend you watch it. Oh wait, no, don't watch it. Uh, read it. Watching it will make your brain hurt because it is extremely. Yes, just extremely. All right, so we're going to go into the game now. Oh, that made sound. All right. Well, you can see that I've completed a few chapters already, or chapters, a few levels already. I'll go back to the one just for you guys. And that main character is Juzo, a bit of a psycho from the thing, but everyone loves him because he's epic. And it is a, I recommend, if you don't really know it, you're not going to understand much of what I'm going to say. So check out my other videos. This isn't going to be one for you if you don't know anything about Tokyo Ghoul. Right then, I'm going to assume that all the riffraff has gone. So let's go. Uh, where's he gone? There's he, that filthy bin tak bin kaku. They're just stupid. You have reduced balance. Why you how can you run as like just slightly slower than me? You're actually running faster than most of the others. <laughs> Even I have trouble walking in a straight line without falling over. Anyway, that why are there so many big kakus? I'm expecting to see Nishio next. It has to be Nishio, otherwise I hate this. Well, I don't hate it, I'll just, I don't know. Well, I'm going to definitely kill them all. Yep. You dead yet? That hurt very much, didn't it? Oh, come on, why aren't they dead? If you look, you can vaguely see, while I spam the G button. Ready? That he does that thing in that fight that he does against Corona. And uh, the other one. Never remember the name. And uh, ah, something. We do an A when you spell it like the English letters and all that. Yeah, it's just. Although that one's a Kokaku. But yeah, he can do the thing, the blocking thing he does against two of them. But it's more of an attack now. But. Oh, come on, jab, jab. Why isn't he dying? Are these Kokakus just got like. Abs like obscenely. Strong. I've already spent three minutes nearly. Don't know what that means. Uh, no, no, it's normally on the left. I don't know what the word no looks like. Da, 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 da. That's probably ask if you want me to rate the game. I don't want to rate the game. I can't read this writing. Ooh, it's a ring, Kaku, like that Kaneki. Yes, I have a friend who is obsessed with that Kaneki. He keeps saying he has a body pillow for one. It is very weird. But that's not the point. So, okay. He has a bit of a friend. It's not usually, that's not normal that you see a Kokaku and a Rinkaku fighting together. Like, if you watch the anime, I know I said not to, but if you already have, that beginning bit, Jason and Reese have a bit of a disagreement. Then Jason beats up Kaneki a bit. Um, oh gosh, what? There's too many of them. No, uh, no thing's too big for Juzo. Da 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 da. Yeah, he's got pretty, he's got some good AMVs on YouTube. Well, I guess you're watching this on YouTube, because that's probably where I'm going to post it after this. If anybody's got any other suggestions, I'd like to take them. Well, I'll take the suggestion, not the idea. <laughs> Alright, so, yeah, easy kills. That didn't take us long, and there were more enemies. That's stupid. Oh wait, another filthy big kaku. Why are you so filthy, you big kaku? It's literally you You've literally got a tail. People like things don't have tails, except if you're a monkey. You're meant to be better than people. Well, obviously not, because I've just killed like seven of them. But uh, if if I see another big kaku, I'm just gonna be so annoyed at this game. Like, guess some individuality, bro. Oh, it's an Ukaku! Yay! Alright, actually, I'm gonna go into a bit about the stuff now. Well, basically, these guys 
I'm in Tevi, the fast ones, because I'm assuming that you've all watched the anime and not read the manga, because it explains this in the manga. It's a bit obvious in the anime, but it's actually a fact, not just these characters are special. Alright, the Ukaku, as you can see, is actually faster than all the others. Yeah, that's a thing. They also are supposed to be easier to kill, because they're weaker, and basically being Kakus are meant to be able to point them. Yep, those thousands of knives that Juzo's meant to have. Where have they gone? Alright, Rinkaku, these are that, this one. They can have two, four, sometimes he has, Kaneki has three for some reason. Maybe he just like forgets to take one out. Alright, so then uh, Rinkakus have extremely high regenerative powers, but that's basically because the RC cells, which are like dead blood cells, like, I say like, but they're not. Basically, in the manga, it explains to you how there is an organ in the back of a ghoul. That's kind of how I'm identifying them. And depending on where they are, it depends on what it looks like. And really what their kakane looks like as well. Also, it has a lot of physical aspects on the character. So, ring kakus, their cells are mainly, are basically like liquid. So... They'll, t they'll get sliced apart really quickly, but they can regenerate like crazy. It's like, like, remember that bit where Kaneki gets stabbed through the liver? Oh no, not the liver, what was it? The kidneys. And it's like, yay. Like, we need to put some organs from this girl into him. Oh, wait, what's happened? What the hell has happened? Do, 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 jump, jump. Is it night time? How can I fight at night? We've already played this game and this has never happened before. This is a bit... It's a little bit scary if you just see a random ghoul pop out of there. Oh, I can see them, I can still see them. That's fine. Alright, so like I was saying, the Rinkakus are basically... Uh, Kakanes are like liquid steel, so... Well, liquid steel with muscle in it, obviously, but... It basically makes it so it's extremely... It's ex basically they're made to one shot enemies, and if they get hit, if they don't die, they're meant to just regenerate. Like, it's like that. Alright, I'll make a Pokemon reference, but if you don't, just don't turn this off, please. But basically, everybody who plays Pokemon out there, it's like one of the. It's like a Pokemon having Sturdy, and then as soon as they use Sturdy after a one shot, you just instantly use a full restore. And it annoys everyone because you can't kill it. You can't attack, but you can't kill it. Alright, now, where was I? Oh gosh, I'm gonna die. Let me just kill these for a second. Da 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 I don't actually say that normally. Alright, anyway, uh, there's one for that. There's one for a so called monster. Like, not the skillet one, the other one. There's something to do with dubstep, I don't know. Anyway, oh gosh, where's the last one? They've just been ring kakus. Yeah, oh gosh, so there's. We've had quick kakus, ring kakus. Alright, basically, yeah. They've got practically liquid cells, so. Yeah, just imagine the kekane as butter, and make it hot butter. So make it hot butter, so it melts back together really quickly. Wait, well, actually, I don't know why they don't do that in the anime. They just keep regenerating it. They actually don't do it in the manga either. They just keep regenerating it and leave the bits of kekane on the floor to disappear. All right then, the ukaku. Oh yeah, the ukaku, the utaku, or whatever it is. Sounds like Kotaku, ha ha ha. Anyway, oh gosh, no, I'm gonna I'll die, I'm not gonna die, I'm not gonna die. Alright, basically, that one, the Utaku, they are. Oh, I died. Alright, don't worry, I'm gonna be back in a second. But basically, these uh, Utakus, oh gosh, I'm really bad at speaking. Sorry, guys, I'll how I can see. Much easier. Alright, so, the Utakus are. Like Toka, so, and are extremely fast. They're weak, 
they're made basically they have even because they're extremely fast and have you seen if you've watched the anime it'll be much easier to relate to because the manga things don't move but the constant flow of our C cells out of uh, through the Kagane basically means that she has extremely low endurance and extremely low stamina for a ghoul so I'm basically human stamina <laughs> like everybody remembers that fight against Amado don't you yeah I don't I don't use those favorite characters yeah they have no time for Dakineki except for when he is their Kakuja. I don't know much about that, but because I'm reading it as it comes out in England and it's like. Yeah, so it's, the next one's coming out in a few weeks, so I'm on number six at the moment. The, t the cover characters, Juzo, yay! Alright, so yeah, these big Kakus now, because I've been talking about Ukakus and Rig Kakus like Kaneki and Toka for ages. So, now, big Kekus, a good example of them would be the, the what I think is meant to be the Bin Brothers. Like, in the manga, they're the Bin Brothers, but then in the anime, you see the Bin Brothers, and then you see somebody who looks like the Bin Brothers, but then they're, twin, they're not twins, they're like, two either sisters or best friends. Actually, I think he says they're twins. I think Juzo actually says they're twins, but I'm not too sure how right he is. Anyway, so, basically, big Kakus, they have low balance, but, yeah, they don't need any balance. It's like saying, I have a tail, so human standing is just going to be horrible. But then you can just argue that you're amazing. Oh, look, happy, happy Jizo. Basically, big Kakus are all rounders. They're best against, if you want to fight an Ukaku, Bin Kakus are the ones you want, so get your Queen K out and kill them all. Oh gosh, what the hell is this? Oh my gosh, this looks like a stronger uh, Kokaku. It looks like a bit like Jason actually, just with black hair. He's also wearing that one of the Bin Brothers masks. No, the Bin Brothers don't wear that, it's... Ah, it, that's what I was thinking of. It's the masks that uh, Corona and Dashiro, I want to say, actually. Uh, it looks like the ones that they have. Anyway, so, uh, well, it looks like one of their masks. I can't tell. I forgot what which one's which. Anyway, so, these spin kakus, they're practically just normal. They're slightly more flexible than most kakanes. And, oh, and I'm dying. Also, that's the... Also that... Oh, gosh, no. Also that's the... Also that uh, Juzo's first Queen K was actually a big Kaku Queen K. It was like a small knife. Like, that fight scene I keep referring to between him and the... Bin Sisters, maybe? Yeah, that sounds about right. Anyway, between those two, between those three, because there's three of them, there's two sides though, but I don't care. The battle between those three, oh yeah, the, the tons of knives he uses, in the manga he only has one. Oh gosh, no, I, oh gosh, how did I not die then? Alright, okay, I'll kill the Ikaku. Oh gosh, I'm so bad at this game while I'm talking. But don't worry guys, I will die for you. That is nice. Because that's such a nice person. See, I didn't even kill one of them. That's pitiful, honestly. <laughs> Alright, so let's talk about the amazing next ones. Called the uh, Kokakus, I believe they're called. Basically, they're like the heavy ones, like Jason's one, and so is Tsukiyama. I'm not too sure what Kakanei's Yomo and Uta have. Because you don't really get to see them, do you? Because if you did get to see them, that'd be so cool. Considering, considering Atenteku, uh, it, y Yoshimura is the only one that's stronger than him. And, Suki, and considering they put hit them with Sukiyama, it means that they at least either, they at least parallel his strength, let alone are stronger than. Well. He's a bit big-headed, so... Yeah, I'm hoping that he, they're stronger than Tsukiyama. Oh gosh, it's just like a Kaku next. 
Oh gosh, no, 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 no. Alright, so. Yeah, so far I'm doing alright this time. So basically, uh, the, these Kokakus, they're heavy, so they move slower, the people holding them. Or, no, the people holding them and or the ghouls that have them. They're slower, but they have an extreme amount of res resilience to pain. Seriously, Tsukiyama gets both his eyes cut in half in his head. Oh yeah, um, I forgot to mention, but spoilers. <laughs> gets both his eyes cut in, through his head, in his head. Gets his, both his eyes cut mostly in half. And he's like in pain for about five seconds. And in that time he regenerates. I think that's a bit too uh, good for him. I don't think he should regenerate that quickly. But who cares? Because he's Tsukiyama, he's a bad guy. Yeah. So he's meant to be... Well, he's not really a bad guy, but... You know what I mean. So... You've got all of those, and then you have the green case, which are basically... Where the Kekane comes out. It's just an organ there that they just scoop out. Put inside a bit of metal. It stimulates the, with electric shocks. Or stimulizes, or... I can't remember the word. It sounds like stimulate. And then you basically just have a Kagane. Mado is obsessed with them, so is Juzo, but Juzo just wants stronger ones. Mado just wants all of them. Aruma has a pretty interesting one, considering it could turn into three different things. Or four. I can't remember, it's like a sword. I don't even think that's a Queen K. Because it doesn't look like one, and it shoots electricity. And it's stupidly powerful, and it turns into a metal sword. So, there's, unless there's a metal kagane. Oh yeah, I killed it. Yeah. that Does, does that hurt now? Yeah, I had to say that. Does it still hurt? Alright, what is this? I bet it says, please rate our game. Alright? Later. Alright, so... You've probably had enough for today, what? I think I'm on like level 5 or something. Alright, well, I'll continue this later, but I would rather play something a bit animated a bit better. So I'm going to probably just start making the next video directly after this, but if you've got any suggestions anytime you see this, I'll be happy to hear them, and I'll happy to play them. I basically just play free games and Mainly on the tablet because it's easy to play. I did play Brave Frontier if anybody's interested in that. But it does involve me reinstalling it. I'll have all my data though so it's fine. Oh and yeah just suggest games. Make sure they're not expensive because I won't buy any. I've got Demo but that's practically it that I bought. So yeah alright see you next time guys. And I hope you enjoyed actually hearing my voice for once. Instead of the silence of uh, idiocy, let's say. A bit scared to put my voice on YouTube, but... Yeah, you, I'm fine, aren't I? Seriously, if you actually have a complaint about my voice, please put it down below in the comment se comments section. I don't know where that is, depending on what uh, device you're using. So yeah, I'm basically just going to ramble on like this, but... Usually it's going to be a bit more irrelevant than this, so yeah. Yeah, if you want to thank somebody, go on to the Pros channel. He's the one that suggested I go on rambling like this instead of just playing silent videos. Thank him, watch a few of his videos, if you can be bothered. I don't really care, it's not my channel. I have no obligation. And he's not paying for me for this, so he owes me. Alright, bye-bye. Why isn't the button working? Yeah, I'm basically using movies for Samsung. Waiting for the button to work, and... Oh, here we go. Bye.